day that the Lord has made. Are you rejoicing and are you glad in it? We are grateful this morning as we celebrate a new day, new mercies. Amen. It's a beautiful day. It's Mother's Day. Hallelujah. We're celebrating all moms, our natural mothers. Amen. Spiritual mothers, godmothers, aunties, all those matriarchs. Amen that we are who we are because of our mothers. We are grateful this morning, amen. Let us go before the throne of the Lord in prayer. Father God, in Jesus' name, we just honor you this morning, Lord God. As the deer panted for the water, so our souls long after you, O oh God. You our, are our peace, O oh God, hallelujah. We long, Father God, to commune with you and we're grateful this morning we're grateful for this new day and new mercies that we stand in lord god hallelujah on this day lord god we're celebrating mothers lord god we're grateful father god to have the everlasting love the love that never fails that comes from a mother father god we're grateful for all the nurturing all the lessons lord god so we celebrate mothers today Father God, we're grateful to have our mothers in our lives, Lord God. But Father God, we send out special prayers for those, hallelujah, whose matriarchs may have gone on, Lord God. Be comfort and strength for them on this day, Lord God. Oh, Father God, we even celebrate those, Father, that long to be mothers. Oh, Father God, work miracles in their lives in only the way that you can, Lord God. We thank you on this day. We're grateful for what you're doing in our our lives hallelujah we set aside this time to worship you father God we set aside this time to hear a word Lord God that will take us forward in our lives oh God so we pray for the man of God we lift up pastor Martin we thank you for the visionary of this house and the word that will come forth on today Lord God we thank you that our homes are set apart for you Lord and in this season we continually lift up your name Lord Lord God. We're grateful. Hallelujah. In this season, you're still working miracles. In this season, you're still saving souls. In this season, Lord God, you're still healing, oh God. And we are grateful today. Hallelujah. Our hearts are open, Lord God. Our minds are open, Lord God. Have your way on this day. Hallelujah. Let your spirit saturate and fill every area, oh God. Hallelujah. Heal those areas that need healing, Lord God. Deliver in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, we thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. As we go forth in praise and worship, hallelujah. Be glorified in the midst, Lord God. Oh, we will forever lift up your name, God because you are worthy of every praise every adoration that we can give oh we are grateful on today we thank you lord god hallelujah it's in jesus name we pray and the people of god say amen amen we give god praise hallelujah as our praise and worship team comes this morning amen Hallelujah. Let the glory of the Lord rise. Hallelujah. Have your way, Holy Spirit. We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Come on, say, let the glory, let the glory of the Lord let it rise. rise let the glory, let, the glory of the Lord let it rise. rise. Let the praises of have your way, God. Hallelujah. Oh, let it rise. Oh. joy of the Lord rise among us. 
Let the joy of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Hallelujah. Oh, oh let the joy. Let the joy of the Lord. Let it rise, God. Oh, let the joy. Let it rise. Let the praises of we worship you, God. Hallelujah. Oh. healing of the Lord rise among us let the healing of the Lord rise among us let the praises of our King rise among us let it rise come on come on say let the healing oh let it rise let the healing have your way God let the praise
Thank you, Jesus. We worship your name. Hallelujah. Oh, you are my strength. Strength like no other. Strength like no other reaches to me. Hallelujah, Lord. You are my strength. Yes, you are. Strength like no other. Strength like no other, Lord. Reaches to me. Hallelujah. You are my strength. Hallelujah, strength like no other. Strength like no other. Reaches. Hallelujah, going up. You are my strength. My strength. Hallelujah, strength like strength like no other. Strength like. fullness of your grace hallelujah in the fullness of your grace in the power lord you lift me up god hallelujah oh you lift me up hallelujah oh in the fullness You 
are my peace. Hallelujah. Peace like no other Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, peace like no other. Oh, said it reaches. Reaches to me. Your joy reaches to me. Your peace reaches to me. Your love reaches, Lord, to me. Like no other, like no other, Lord, you reach me. Wherever I am, God, you're right there. Oh, reaches. How great is our God. See with me how great is our God. And oh, see how great, how great is our God. Hallelujah. Oh, let's say how great. Oh, is our God. Oh, sing with me. Oh, and all will see. How great. Oh, oh, I'll say again. How great. How great is our. See with me. See with me. How great. of his grace amen aren't you grateful today hallelujah to have such a great god who loves you amen oh we welcome you on this morning we're grateful that you're joining us via our live stream hallelujah on, be on behalf amen behalf of our pastor pastor anthony martin myself first lady sabrina martin and the entire second mount moriah family amen we welcome you if this is your first time worshiping with us via live stream just type in the comments first timer amen we'd love to connect with you we're grateful that you're joining us amen and we pray that the worship and praise that goes forth and the word that goes forth blesses your life on today 
Also today is a very special day. It's Mother's Day. Yes, we're celebrating all of our mothers. Today is your day. Amen. And we don't just celebrate you today, but we should celebrate moms every day. Amen. But today is your day. So do what you want to do today. Amen. Put your feet up. Relax. If you want to next flicks and chill, whatever it is you want to do today, today is your day. Uh, we declare that you're surrounded by love and celebration because you deserve it. Yes, you do. Amen. Let's just give some hand claps and some hearts for all of our mothers. Hallelujah. We pray for those again whose matriarchs may have gone on to heaven. We just cover you. We send our love and strength on this day because we know this day can be difficult for many amen so we stand with you and we celebrate the mothers that we have so if you have an opportunity celebrate your mom while she's here with you amen do all you can on a regular basis not just today but on a regular basis just share your love with your mom whatever you can do because she gave you life amen Amen. Well, at this time, we're going to have our second Mount Moriah happening. So just uh, look there on your screen and we have a few announcements for you. Amen. Good morning. It's First Lady Sabrina Martin, and welcome to Second Mount Moriah Happenings Storytime Edition. I've got some great things for you this morning, so let's listen in. We've been through some unprecedented times together, weathering COVID-19. Thank you all for your continued support. You stay connected through our live stream and services have been such a blessing. We're looking forward to coming together real soon and we are excited when we're together, but I know you can't wait till we come together again. We've got a tentative date of June 7th of when we'll gather together again. However, we will have in place certain social distancing guidelines to continue to keep each other safe and healthy. When we gather together, we're going to require you to wear a mask. But even if you don't have a mask, still please come to service because we'll provide one for you. Seating will be maintain the proper social distance guidelines. We'll ask that you do sanitize your hands when you enter the sanctuary. And we're going to continue to sanitize all high traffic areas. Initially, when we come together, we're just going to have worship services on Sunday at 9 a.m. So again, we are excited to come together and worship again. Class of 2020, we are so proud of you. Stay tuned for our graduation Sunday details. We're going to celebrate all of our recent high school graduates, our college graduates, as well as the accomplishments of all of our students. Don't forget, Wednesdays in the Word, every single Wednesday at 7 p.m., as well as our worship service on Sunday at 9 a.m. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to all of our social media at Second Mount Moriah, and that's S-E-C-O-N-D-M-T-M-O-R-I-A-H. You can find us on Twitter. We're on Instagram, Facebook, as well as YouTube. We have some new, exciting news. We've added Givelify. What's Givelify, you ask? Well, it's a safe and secure way that you can give using your debit card or credit card. And we've added that just to make it more convenient for you outside of Cash App, as well as regular traditional giving ways. And what we've made convenient for you is you can go directly to our church's website. That's right, you can log on to secondmountmoriah.org, that's S-E-C-O-N-D-M-T-M-O-R-I-H.org, 
And when you're there at the home page, there's a tab that says Give. When you click on that tab, it's going to take you directly to our Give Lify page, and you can give right there. Again, that's Give Lify. And it's safe, secure, and convenient. And it's another way for you to be able to give. We appreciate your continued support. Again, thank you so much for tuning in to Second Mount Mariah Storytime Edition. Have an awesome and wonderful week. Happy Mother's Day to all the beautiful mothers out there. We appreciate you. We thank you for your selfless acts of love each and every day, and we salute you. Worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thanking you for everything you've done. Hallelujah. When I look back yes, God. over my life, think about what the Lord has done. So much he has done that I just can't tell it all. all of his goodness and everything lord that you've done for me my soul cries out hallelujah lord thank you lord for saving me hallelujah oh he's been my oh
is God. That's one of my favorites. They did that for me because it's Mother's Day. Amen. Just can't tell it all. Hallelujah. We're grateful on today. Amen. Well, it's giving time. It is giving time in the house of the Lord. Amen. So prepare if you haven't already your tithe and offering. Amen. We have several convenient ways for you to give. We now have four convenient ways for you to give. Amen. Of course, uh, traditionally, you can mail in your tithe and offering to our P.O. Box, P.O. Box 554, Harlem, Georgia, 30814. Amen. You can also give via Cash App. Amen. And the Cash App information should be right there as well as dropping off your tithe and offering conveniently after service between 10.30 and 11.30. We also have and have added GiveLify. Amen, yes, you can give via GiveLify. So you can download the GiveLify app and give to Second Mount Moriah. You can also conveniently go to the church's website and that is secondmountmoriah.org and it's spelled out S-E-C-O-N-D M-T-M-O-R-I-A-H dot org. And there's a Give tab. If you click right there on that Give tab, you can give. Uh, it takes you directly to our Give Lify page, and you can give. It's secure and safe. Amen. And you're able to give via your debit card or credit card. Again, that is Give Lify that has been added. Amen. So we're grateful about that. Thank you for your continued giving, sowing, and being obedient. Amen. Hallelujah. God will do it. Amen. If we continue to stand in obedience, amen, he will provide an overflow. All right. Well, at this time, we'll pray over our gifts and seeds that we've sown. Amen. Glory to God. Father God, in Jesus' name, we just thank you for your continued blessings over these givers, Lord God. We thank you that they're cheerful givers and their hearts are open to continue to sow into the kingdom so it can be advanced, Lord God. Bless everything their hands, hallelujah, touch. Father God, we declare every need met, hallelujah, to where it's overflowing in their lives, Lord Jesus. We thank you for doing it, Father God. You are our provider and we trust you, Lord God. We thank you that your kingdom will forever be advanced, hallelujah. It's in Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen, hallelujah. Well, at this time, we will welcome again our praise and worship team. And then we'll hear a word, hallelujah, to lift our souls and spirits from Pastor Anthony Martin. Amen. Declaring the victory, hallelujah. We will. We will fight. And we will win. And we will win. We speak victory. We speak victory. To every trial. We are overcome. By the, of the By the blood of the Lamb. No longer defeated. No longer defeated. We're winners now. We're winners now. We will. We will fight. And we will win. And we, will win. we speak victory, Lord. Speak victory to, to every trial. trial. We are overcome. We are overcome. By the blood. By the blood of the Lamb. No longer defeated. No longer we're winners now. Come my way, we 
declare right now that I am a winner above all else even though the enemy might try to tell you you're defeated and it might try to tell you it's over I dare you to just get something down in your spirit right now 
and holler out right where you are and say, I am a winner. Or do it again, make yourself feel good. Say, I am a winner. I am a winner. I am a winner. I know it might look bad, but I am a winner. Times are hard, but I am a winner. I dare you to get a shot of your spirit and declare in the name of Jesus, I am a winner. I'm not a loser. I'm victorious. Yes. Hallelujah. I am that God says that I am. I'm a winner. Say it. Oh, yeah. I like that right there. Feels good. Oh yes, I am a winner. Yeah, I feel good in churchy right there. I, I, I am. I'm a winner. I can just shout right there. We all might. We might not even preach today. Let's get something down in your spirit. Let's just just uh, declare that I'm a winner. God told me I could win. I don't care what CNN said. I am. A winner that come at me from every direction, come at me from the north, come at me from the south. I am a winner. They told me it was over, but I declare I am a winner. Yes, yes, I am. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, yes. Glory to God. Yes, I am. Even though the race looked like it was rigged for you to lose, system set up against you so that you could lose. Systematic things set in place so that you could lose. But I dare you to declare right now, I don't care what the devil said, that I am a winner. I'm glad you joined us today. I know we done got excited. We have a little church here. Amen. We enjoying Jesus because that's what we do. That's who we are. We don't apologize for that. We hope that you're at home praising God with us. I hope you're in your living room. So you got the luxury. You can take your shoes off. Amen. Take your wig off. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Amen. And you can just dance and shout around that house. Amen. And give God all the glory. Amen. So we're glad that, and we're honored that you allowed us to come into your homes on this Mother's Day. Amen. A day that we celebrate the gift that God calls mothers. Amen. In our lives that help us to that nurture us and get us to where God would have us to be. Amen. If your mother is with you, your mother is living, amen, you take this day and tell them, spend time with them and let them know that you love them. Many of us, including myself, are in the position that we don't have our mothers anymore. Amen. Several years ago, my mother went on to be with the Lord, and several years before that, my grandmother, who was very instrumental in raising me. She went on to be with the Lord, so amen. We, I'm still here, but I go back often, even in my preaching, I go back often and remember the lessons, the teachings that they gave me, amen, to help me be the man that I am, and I thank God for them. I know they're smiling down right now as they follow the instructions of God in my life to tell me what I needed to know. Happy Mother's Day to you. We have many mothers here, amen, and it grieves me in a way, amen, that y'all aren't here, but from me to you, I want to let you know I love you, and happy Mother's Day. I'm not going to be very long before you. I just got a few points uh, to give you this Mother's Day, amen. Of course, we're going to deal with the subject of motherhood. We're going to be in the book of First Kings, the third chapter, very familiar story, First Kings, the third chapter, 
And we're going to pick up somewhere around the 16th verse. First Kings, the third chapter, and the 16th verse. And it reads on this wise. It says, Then came there two women that were harlots unto the king and stood before him. And the one woman said, Oh, my Lord, I and this woman dwell in one house, and I was delivered of a child with her in the house. And, I, and, it, and it came to pass the third day after that I was delivered that this woman was delivered also. And we were together. There were no strangers with us in the house, save we two in the house. And this woman's child died at night because she overlaid it. And she arose at midnight and took my son from my bedside while thine handmaid slept and laid it in her bosom and laid her dead child in my bosom. When I rose in the morning to give my child suck, behold, it was dead. But when I had considered it in the morning, behold, it was not my son, which I did bear. And the other woman said, nay, but the living is mine. The living is my son, and the dead is thy son. And they said, no, but the dead is thy son. And the living is my son. Thus they spake before the king. The king, the said, the, then said the king, the one said, this is my son that liveth, and thy son is the dead. And the other said, nay, but thy son is dead, and my son is living. And the king said, bring me a sword. And they brought the sword before the king. And the king said, divide the living child in two, and give half to the one and half to the other. Then spake the woman whose the living, living child was unto, unto the king, for her bowels yearned upon her son. And she said, oh my Lord, give her the living child and in no way slay it. But the other said, let it be, neither mine nor thine, but divide it. Then the king answered and said, give her the living child and in no wise slay it, she is the mother, therefore, may God add a blessing to the reading of his word. Just want to talk to you for a few minutes, if you allow me, uh, uh, on the subject of a mother's split decision. A mother's split decision. Amen. So we understand and we thank God that today is Mother's Day. Amen. We celebrate you and we honor you. I mean, God, God granted Solomon here in this text his request. Before here, God gave Solomon, Solomon asked for, God gave him an option to ask for something, then God gave Solomon what he asked for, and that was for wisdom. Amen. Once you have wisdom, then you don't even have to ask for money. You don't have to ask for clothes and fine things because wisdom will allow you to achieve those things. So it is here that Solomon asked for wisdom because he could have asked for riches, for long life, for victory over his enemies, but God gave him those things as well. Solomon's need for divine wisdom is soon it's going to be put to the test here in these verses. What do you do? about the mothers in these texts. Here we have a dilemma. One says that the child is hers. The other says that the child is hers. So they bring this matter before the king and the king gives a remedy. He tells them to bring a sword and what we'll do is we'll cut the child in half, literally. Give one half to one and one half to the other. But there was something that rose up in the mother of the child. Something that every mother has. A longing for their child. The protection of their child. So I just want to give you a few points and we'll move on out of the way. Amen? Number one, write this down. Mothers aren't perfect. 
mothers aren't perfect. Now, I don't want you to go and tell your mother that. Husbands, I don't want you to go and get in trouble today and tell your wife that, because most of them think that they're close to perfect already. Amen. 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 But I want to give you a little bit of news. Amen. Mothers aren't perfect. These two mothers were, uh, in our text, were harlots, or what we refer to as prostitutes. And, and so here it is that we see these two mothers, and we understand even by their occupation that they are not perfect in their life. Amen. Uh, and and, and I'm, I'm not coming to preach to a perfect people or a perfect mother because the truth of the matter is that nobody's perfect. Uh, nobody is the perfect mother. I've got some more news for you that nobody had a perfect mother. Nobody currently is the perfect mother. She was never born. She was never invented. She never existed. And as close as you uh, probably can come or going to get to that of a perfect mother is that on TV when you watch the Huxtables. Uh, Claire might be close. Or uh, when you watch back in my days when you watch Good Times, Florida Evans might have been close. Or uh, uh, so I can go back a little bit. Some of y'all remember Leave It to Beaver. Amen. That might have been the closest representation that you would have to a perfect mother. But Mother's Day really can be a difficult time for some because it brings back some memories of a wonderful mother who is dearly missed because she has died now and she's going on to heaven. But for others, it, remains, it reminds them of their mother who may have been or may still be a difficult mother. There are some mothers that, that you, you can never please. I hope I'm not talking to anybody like that here. They are, they're miserable and nobody else around them uh, can be happy because they make things miserable sometimes. They can be hated and uh, hateful and hurtful at times, which can make Mother's Day a difficult time. But we all understand that mothers aren't perfect. Maybe that, uh, that will take some of the pressure off of some of you mothers that are here, that are listening this morning, the expectation of motherhood. You're not expected to be perfect. You, you're going to make mistakes. Uh, my mother made mistakes. Uh, your mama makes mistakes. There is nobody here, uh, no mother that's listening that is perfect. So we're not looking for, for perfection. But the truth of the matter is that God chose her anyway. God chose her for your life. No matter what her background was, no matter how things came to be, God permitted things to happen in order to get you where you are. So, so I, I don't care what kind of childhood you have. I have talked and counseled people that go back and want to talk about their childhood and what their mamas didn't do and what happened in their life. Can I tell you, nobody's perfect. There's no need to sit back and dwell on what was. Amen. You just really need to be thankful that you had a mother, period. Amen. Because the truth of the matter is some folk did make it into this world. Y'all ain't saying Amen. Some folk didn't make it, amen, but she decided to carry you for nine months. I, I, my mind goes back to the song uh, that Shirley Sees wrote, nine months I carried you, growing inside of me, no charge, amen. So, so no matter what is going on, no matter what level of mother that you know or uh, whatever went on in her life or your childhood, just be thankful at this moment that you had a mother in your life. Amen. Number one, I just want to remind folks that mothers aren't perfect. Don't look for perfection. Don't look for a perfect mother. Don't look for the perfect scenario because God allowed her to be your mother for a reason, to instill in you or to get things to you, to nurture you to the place that you are. I, if, is there anybody that's thankful that God gave them a mother? Mothers aren't perfect. Number two, I want you to write this down. We're going to go real quickly. we got about five, six more minutes to go. Amen. Number two, write this down, that mothers know their children. Mothers know their children. When she examined her child, she immediately knew that this child was not hers. 
This was a newborn child. Can, 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 I, can I speak as a man that, uh, honestly, sometimes with these newborns, that, you know, when, they, when they're very newborn, all of them kind of look alike to me. Amen. <laughs> I can't hardly tell the difference. Amen. But a mother, hear what I'm telling you. Amen. The newborn, she knows her child. I don't know what it is. I don't know what God put in it, but she knows her child. I don't, her child knows her. I think, I don't know if there's a scent or some type of pheromone that is given off. Amen. A mother and a child, that bond, she knows her child. And it's amazing to me in this story that after the one that laid on her child and killed the child was expected, she got the other child and didn't think that the mother would know the difference. Isn't that crazy? Amen. That she would take somebody else's child. Amen. And pretend like it's her own after she has not done and uh, kept her responsibility as a mother. Amen. She goes in and try to take amen what does not belong to her. But the thing about it is that mama know her baby. Amen. That's why you know what? Hey, sometimes you can come and you can bring stuff to my wife or bring stuff to you. You can tell them about the children and sometimes you know how teachers good and all that stuff went. but you know what she when she talks she said listen I know my child you need to be able to know what your child is capable of y'all ain't talking to me amen y'all getting mad at the school system amen y'all get mad going down there cussing folk out amen scratching folk and everything and little nook nook did exactly what the teacher said he did amen and you would know that amen because the truth of it is you just going down there raising sand but you you know, you know your child because mothers know what their children are capable of. Mothers know what's going on with their child. A real mother knows, amen, what their child is up to, amen. Don't never get in a position, amen, where you don't know what's going on with your child and what your child's life is and who their friends are, amen. Know your children. Mothers should know their children. This woman kills her child and tries to pass the other person's child off as her own. But mama knows a baby. She knows her child and she's not going for it. She'll fight tooth and nail. She'll do whatever she has to do to get her child back in her arms again. Say amen. Mothers know their children. Third thing I want to give you before I get it here is number one, num number one was, amen, mothers aren't perfect. Number two, mothers know their children. But number three, mothers will sacrifice. Mothers will sacrifice. They'll do what it takes for their children. Amen. You, you, want, you want to talk about being a good mother. Amen. Good mothers do whatever is necessary to further their children. Oh, I know I got a witness here. How, how many basketball games you done went to? How, how many track meets you done went to and football games and practices, amen, and driving children up and down the highway to make sure they get that extracurricular activity in and doing all these things, making sure you work in extra hours so that you can pay for their summer camps and all of this kind of thing. Amen. Mothers will make sacrifices. Amen. And it ain't going to stop. I'm telling you, once they're grown, you still going to be making sacrifices. You still going to be doing things for because that is in the mother's DNA. It's in their DNA to keep on sacrifice and doing for their children. Why? It's because they love them so. Amen. And God put it in a mother. Amen. To do whatever it took to sacrifice whatever was needed. Amen. And I'm not beating up daddies today. Amen. But mothers take this thing a little bit farther than the dads do. Amen. They sacrifice. Amen. They push. Amen. They do whatever it is. They sacrifice for their children. They sacrifice themselves. They'll sacrifice their own wants and desires. They'll sacrifice their own needs sometimes in order for their children to get what they have and need. Mothers, this is what mothers do. Mothers sacrifice for their children. Am I all right in here? Number one, mothers are not perfect. Number two, mothers know their children. But number three, mothers will sacrifice. They'll sacrifice their weekends on those Saturdays. They help pay for college. Y'all ain't saying amen. 
They do what, it needs, what needs to be done. A real mother, uh, the real mother of the baby was willing to sacrifice her motherhood. Do you see that in the text? She was willing not to just sacrifice her, 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 her income. She was willing to sacrifice her motherhood. King, I know we have a disagreement. And I know she says that the child is hers, and I'm saying that the child is mine. And I hear your remedy. Your remedy is to take the sword and to chop the child in half and give me half and give the other half. But she stands up and she says, no, don't do that. I'll sacrifice my motherhood. And allow her to mother the child in order for the child to go forward. You know what? Don't, don't get mad at folk that, that have ch children and, and then give the children up for adoption. Amen. That's motherhood. Amen. To know. Amen. In order for that child to stay alive. In order for that child to succeed. I'll sacrifice being in that child's life every day and let him or her go on with somebody else so that they could be all right. I'll sacrifice if I have to. My motherhood. Man, that thing's deep. That thing hit me when I began to read this text last night. Amen. When I saw, amen, and we talk about the mothers and the sacrifices they made. But then when I read the text, I saw that she was willing to take it another step. She was willing to sacrifice the fact that she was the mother. That's what real mothers do. That's how the king knew who the child really belonged to because a real mother it's going to give even some, her very life to make sure her children are all right. Number four, I'm, I'm, almost, I'm almost out of here. I'll let you know that mothers, they have problems. We find out that here she is. She's got a problem. There, there was no DNA testing back then. So this mother had a problem. She thought, uh, you thought you had some problems before. You, you became a mother. Now, you not only have your problems, but you have the problems of your children. And sometimes you even have the problems of your husband. And being a mother really is honestly a high stress position. The stress may get tighter, but it never changes. It never disappears. It might change its form. It, it might look a little different, but it will never go away. You're going to always have problems, mama. I can imagine. We've been going back and forth, amen, on, on social media and seeing how, and I've got to mention this, how this young man in Brunswick, Georgia, jogging down the road and comes in contact with two men of Caucasian men. And those two men decided to take this young man's life. Problems can change forms. Look, did you, have you ever in your mind thought about the position, the mental position of the mother how she, you know, and, and we don't talk about this a lot. I don't know why I'm going here, y'all. Please excuse me. I might go a few minutes over, but please excuse me. But we never talk about the mental, the mental weight that mothers have. Every time that their child, especially with children of color, leave the house, the mental stress of, is my child going to return back to me how he or she left? There's always going to be problems, amen. You, you're going to have stress in your life. When you're, when you're a real mother, you, you're going to worry about those children. And I want to care. I, I, I know, amen, you can't be with them every step of the way. Mama, you can't, you can't uh, hold over them and look at them every time, every move they make. But let me tell you what to do. Even though you might have problems, you need to learn how to give those problems to God. 
Amen. You need to learn how to turn it over to God. Amen. I could tell you stop worrying about it. Amen. But I believe that especially with women, I don't know if that's going to do any good or not. Amen. But I can tell you this, that you can give your burdens to God. You can give your weight to God. Amen. And he'll lighten your load. Amen. He'll look at, hey, I know it sounds cliche Amen. But you've got to give those children. Amen. You've got to give those problems over to God because he's the only one that can handle it. He's the only one that can lift it. He's the only way that can, one can secure your life and secure your children's life. Even though you've got problems. Amen. You've got stresses. You've got dilemmas. Amen. I'm telling you what the remedy is. Give it to God. Motherhood is not easy. Parenting is not easy. None of this is easy. Worrying about our children every day. Going out here trying to work. Trying to sacrifice. Trying to provide. Problems are coming from every direction. But as we said before we even start preaching, we declared that we are winners. We are winners. You are winning mother. You are winning grandmother. I dare you to declare right where you are. And even though I've got trouble and stress and problems uh, and situations on my life uh, and burdens get heavy in my life uh, I know one that I can depend on uh, I can turn my situation around uh, I can give my weight to God uh, I can give my trouble to God uh, and I don't know who I'm talking to right now uh, I know this is Mother's Day uh, but you might have a problem in your life uh, a situation in your life uh, that you feel like you can't handle it uh, stress has mounted in your life uh, frustration has mounted in your life. But I'm here to tell you to give you some good news. There's a Savior by the name of Jesus Christ. He will fix it. He can turn it around. He can lighten your load. If you put your cares on him, give your cares to him because he cares for you. I decree it right now that every trouble, every burden, every struggle, give it over to God. Stop worrying about it. Stop fretting about it. You can't handle it by yourself. You can't make it by yourself. You need some wisdom. You need some wisdom in your life. And the wisdom that you need is from God. Wisdom that's better than Solomon's. Wisdom that's better than America. Wisdom that's better than any system. You need the wisdom of God. I dare you to tell you your problems that I'm giving you over to God. Every stressful situation, every burden in your life. Let it go and give it to God. Stop worrying and start praying. Stop worrying and start praising. Stop worrying and let God do it. Let God deal with it. Happy Mother's Day. I just want to tell you before we go, if you got anything in your life, any type of trouble or struggle, give it over to God. He's going to take care of it. He's going to fix it. And I'm not talking by him he can fix it right now he can fix it today give it to Jesus give it to Jesus I got to go my time is far spent I don't know how I got there so quick but I came to tell you I know mama's gonna have problems mama's not perfect parenting is not perfect hey man you're gonna have struggles and trouble huh things are gonna come from every direction you're stressed you got to wait on you you got this cool COVID-19 thing you're dealing with. All these things, your income is cut. Amen. All of that doesn't matter. I tell you, if you give your problem to the Lord, he'll work it out for you. I tell you to declare right now and holler right where you are. He will work it out for me. Yeah. Yeah. I feel something in my spirit. On this mother's day. On this Mother's Day, I decree and declare burdens be lifted. I decree and declare that peace be in the home. I decree and declare protection over you, protection over your children, protection over your family. I speak it in the name of Jesus. Doubt and worry dissipate. Doubt and worry leave in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I declare that we are victorious. We're victorious winners. I don't care what they try to do to us. I don't care what they try to do to us. 
I don't care what they try to do to us. They can try to attack our children. But the devil is a liar. We are victorious. Not another slain. Not another one missing. In the name of Jesus. Devil, I certainly know this on you today. You've got a lot to answer for. The, the Lord is upset that you've been bothering him and his children. And I declare right now that we have victory. I declare right now that we are winners. I declare right now that we are victorious in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The name above every name. The name that means everything. The name of Jesus. At the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess that he is Lord. Take your hands off our children. Take your hands off our homes take your hand off our nation we declare this holy ground we declare this holy ground our homes are holy our lives are holy in the name of Jesus say it I've got to go, but I just feel that some folk are worried, especially with all this stuff that's going on in the news. Amen. Mother, stop worrying. Give it over to God and stop worrying about it. Stop stressing about it. God is going to be your all in all. He's going to be victorious in your life. And I just want to tell you today, thank God for you. Thank God for your position. Thank God for what you've instilled. Amen, but you're not perfect. You got problems too. Even though you're trying to solve all of your family problems and children's problems, well, who do you take your problems to? You take your problems to the Lord. He can fix it for you, no matter who you are. And I'm not just talking to the mothers. The day is Mother's Day especially. We love you. But fathers and brothers and sisters, whatever your trouble is, whatever you're burdened with, take it to the Lord. He can fix it for you. That's what we preach for. That's our message of the gospel of Jesus Christ. That he came. He gave us life for you and I. Why? So that we could have life. And life more abundantly. Even though your mom, you're celebrating her today, she gave you life. But there's another life that you need to go into now. That's that abundant life. Thank you, mama. Thank you for what you've done. Jesus got me. He's taking care of me. I belong to him just like you do. And together we're going to win. Together we're going to be victorious. Listen, if you're listening... And you've never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. It's never too late. And it's not difficult at all. All one must do is confess their sins. Confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus was raised from the dead. The Bible declares that you, you shall be saved. So I want to take you through that today. So if you're listening to me and you don't know him, or even if you know him, you slipped and you stumbled and you've walked away. You can pray this prayer with us. Would you bow your heads right where you are? Could you say, Father, I'm a sinner that needs saving. Lord, I realize that I've fallen short of your glory. And there is nothing that can make that right except what you've offered to me through your son Jesus his blood father forgive me forgive all my sins Jesus I believe you are the son of God come into my life live in me make me new I'll serve you I'll do your will Thank you, Lord, for forgiving me. 
Thank you, Lord, for saving me. If you said that prayer, I want to tell you, give you some good news that you're saved. It's not hard. You're saved. If you said that prayer for the first time, would you please reach out to us that we may continue to pray with you and to love on you and to teach you. And God, we just thank you right now for all that you've done today in this service. And as we're getting ready to leave, we thank you for watching. We pray that all the mothers, y'all have a wonderful day. Fine mama. I know we're quarantined now and it's kind of hard to take mama out to the restaurant. Hey Amen. But you better get them cooking skills together. Hey Amen. Go on. You need to try to burn something today, brother. Try to do what you can. Hey Amen. Make it special for her. Make it special for your mother. Listen, I love you with the love of the Lord. God bless you and keep you is my prayer. And as we leave this place, God, we can never leave your presence. We humbly submit unto your direction. We'll give your name, the honor, and praise as we move forward from this place. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. God keep you. It's always my prayer.